sleep with me. Max. Glad I caught you. Of course. What do I sign? For the package. I sign for the deliveries, you give me the deliveries. Kind of how a courier works. I'm not here for work. Okay, I'm sorry. Of course you didn't mean for Serena to hurt herself. I just, I freaked out. I didn't know, I didn't know what to do for the best. I shouldn't have asked you to keep your distance from the family. You are family for heaven's sake. You're my daughter. Is Serena after the accident? Well, right now she should be in Birmingham competing in the Commonwealth Games, so she's feeling pretty vulnerable. Her idiot boyfriend's blowing hot and cold, which isn't helping. And I'm worried if it if that goes south, it's just gonna set her back even more. Maybe I could talk to her. Woman to woman. Really? You'd, you'd do that? I mean, yeah, yeah, she'd. I think she'd appreciate some wisdom and support from her older sister. There's one thing that I'm really good at. Getting over relationships. Serena will be fine. I'll make sure of it. Oh, wait, so you've been messaging him, but... <laughs> What's she doing here? Dave said that Serena needed some company. Oh, and then um, some chocolate ops. Of course he did. Anyway, you were telling me that Imran isn't returning your texts. Yeah, it's like we're meant to be in a proper relationship. But it's like I've been friends him without even realising it. And you do like him and want it to work. Or is this, you know, a distraction from the Commonwealth Games? Yes, it hurts that I can't be there. But it hurts more that my boyfriend's giving me the cold shoulder. Seriously, why are you even bothering with him? If it's causing you this much heartache, it might be time to cut him loose. <sighs> wow, you Gen Zers just give up so easily. And you millennials have no self-respect. Why are you even listening to her after what she did? Because the accident wasn't Maxine's fault. I've accepted that, why can't you? You've lost your entire career. And I'm gutted. But we all know the damage was caused by Dr. Shahzad, not Maxine. Please, Lizzie. Just give her another chance. And besides, Maxine's right. I can't just give up. I've not liked anyone this much since, well. Sid? Yeah. Look, I've had my fair share of broken relationships, and the one thing they all had in common was lack of communication. Maybe you just need to sit down with him, run and have an honest chat. That's not actually terrible advice. And yeah, you know, it's embarrassing putting yourself out there, laying everything on the line, but if you want this to work, you really do need to know where you stand. You're right. I need to have it out with him, run once and for all. <laughs> <laughs>